Hey guys, what's up? It's Renee. So today I wanted to share with you this easy spider web accessories using hot glue gun. So to make these accessories, I'm going to be using this glass bowl. It's one of those that is a bowl, but it's like kind of flat. So it's like deep, but it's flat on the bottom. I'm going to be working outside, obviously, but on the back of it, like in this area, in the area that um, sits on the table. And I'm going to use my hot glue gun. First place one line, then another one like this, like across it, and then two more like that. And then like the other, not lines, but you know, like the spider web thing is, are going to be like this. And what I'm doing here is applying pressure to my hot glue and just moving my hand up a bit. And then just going to the right if that makes any sense at all and i'm doing pretty much that the same movement all over the place until i'm done actually the first one that i did was a total mess i just wanted to try if this technique actually worked if this looked uh, like a spider web at all and it did that well i think it does but yeah the first one was a mess it was like practice but you know practice makes perfect again as well as with the pressure of your hot glue gun feel free to work over a piece of wax paper i'm just using this plate because i ran out of like wax paper any kind of like glass surface it works and this is what it looks like from the plate as it dries to remove it i'm going to be taking my exacto knife and just be careful with the exacto knife i don't want anybody to have like an accident because of this DIY obviously if you're younger or just are scared of doing this just ask somebody to help you and pretty much just peel it in just an angle wax paper you can just peel it off when it's um, dry and cold just moving it back and forth left to right it should come right off it's not gonna be sticking to the table and you know I'm using this plate and mine doesn't scratch but if you are not sure about doing that on your glass surface just feel free to use some wax paper or parchment paper over the like smoothest part i'm going to be using this glue and i'm using this kiss uh, it's one of those like press on nail glues it works for this kind of things as well and i'm going to open my thin just to make it easier to glue gluing this on like the straight side apply it make some pressure in there give it some time to set i'm going to be taking two ear pasts they look like this gluing this not on the top of those things like the pointy parts but on the second pointy part if that makes any sense at all just because when i wear these earrings i don't want it to be like hanging for my ear so i'm just going to be painting them using some white and black acrylic paints i wanted to uh, go for both because to me spider webs look really cute in like creepy for halloween in black but actual spider webs are uh, white and i like them both it depends on like your personal taste and your halloween custom for the hair pins i think it pretty much depends on like your hair because i think that when your hair is like black and the white one would just look pretty cool because it would just stand out give it a contrast but you know it's pretty much up to you personal taste personal preference as i said and they're actually really easy to make really fast to make as well and they're pretty affordable you can make a bunch of them them. but yeah i really hope you like these ideas halloween is a bit weird this year but i don't know to me i feel like i'm still gonna be uh, wearing something for halloween even to like walk my dogs and i just wanted to share these ideas just in case you wanted to do something even if it's just at home but yeah i really hope you like them if you did don't forget to give this yet thumbs up check out more halloween accessories that I have on my channel subscribe for more let me know what you think of this ones and share them thank you so much for watching i'll talk to you later and take care bye